Well, we're here at the Mexican after party downstairs to celebrate the film festival. We've just been upstairs checking it out, so uh, we'll talk about people. And I'll just have a quick chat to you. How did you like the films? Much yeah. Away. Um. Yeah. No. <laughs> I really, I really like them. They're really diverse. Yeah, it was really good. There's, a, there's quite a, like ten, ten short films we just viewed. I mean, did you get all of them? Some of them to me just didn't make any sense. Um. Yeah. I think like something like the the one about the party. It was just kind of like, what? Where? Where, who are <laughs> where are they coming from? <laughs> yeah. So what are you eating here? What are you experiencing? Um. It's it's pita. It's like a corn um corn and chili and um. You know your Mexican food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a fan of Mexican food? Definitely. Oh, okay. Hot and spicy. Got some tortillas. <laughs> That's right. Enjoy. Tortillas. Yeah, so it's a um, fried tortilla, and then they're filled with um, chicken, and then they have lettuce and. Lots of food, lots of yummy food. Now, how do you go about eating something like this? With, you just pick it up. I used to tell it. Oh. Yeah. I lost the lettuce. Up, you get to balance all the lettuce on the taquito and then eat it all. That could be hard to do. Yes. All right, enjoy, keep serving. Mine is without lettuce. realize there were so many Mexicans in Melbourne. I know, me neither. <laughs> you all come out. No, 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 I just arrived about two weeks ago okay. and it's just full of Mexicans. It's amazing. You feel at home? It, totally. I live in Perth for two years and a half okay. and I uh, just moved here and it's just amazing. So how did you find about the festival then? How did you, you just heard about it and thought I'm going to come to this? Of course, they do also um, do the advertising in Facebook, yeah. but um, I know some well because I used to organize the first Hola Mexico Film Festival in Perth, okay. and so I'm be, I've been just you know trying out you know, Samuel and and I just think that this year they do have a really really good selection of films. They're, they're very interesting films. I mean, we just experienced a lot of short films. Some of them I didn't really get, and a lot of people they don't have endings. Indeed, indeed. I completely agree. I think they were uh, the, the, there's a lot of ambiguity in in some of the shorts, but um, I think that they began with a best one and ended up with a best one as well. It was Absolutely. Fantastic. So what brings you to the film festival? Um, I don't know, we just heard about it. We went last year and yeah, it was good, so we thought we'd come to the opening night. Are you a fan of Mexican films now? or? Yeah, yeah. I okay, what's the attraction? Of what? Mexican? Of the films, yeah. Um, I guess just the whole culture. It's really yeah. vibrant and the Have you been to Mexico? No, 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 but just the image yep. imagery of Mexico is really vibrant and colourful and the food's really good too. Yeah, there is lots of food going around here tonight. What are you eating? Um, You're drinking. Yeah. You're sangrias, are you? Margaritas. Margarita. I know her. She's a great girl. <laughs> a bit of a mix. We've got Colombian, Mexican. Let me get in the middle. You're all friends. So how are you enjoying the Mexican Film Festival? Uh, very much, very much. Uh, so we love it. There were there were a couple of films that were rather confusing. And yeah, I'd say. Clear, but and other ones were really confronting, like the one that is, I don't know, I should have said anything, but it should have come. Well, that's really avant-garde. It's apparently the, the go to make a film where you go, what the hell was that about? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. So you live here in Melbourne? Yes, I do. So how long have you been in Australia then? Eight years. Eight years, yeah. wow. I came to Melbourne, love it, and stay here, yes. So did you speak any English when you came? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? You can't I remember? Think, well, the thing is that I learned it, yeah. but I didn't have any much practice over there. Okay, because the Australian accent is quite strong, so... Maybe that's why, because yeah. I, I, I started practicing it here, yeah. and I learned on the highway, I guess. <laughs> So what brought you to Australia then? Uh, my girl. girl oh, love. Uh, love. love. I, I came to study yeah. my final year and then I just love it and decided to stay. We're up here with the manager Paulette. Now you help coordinate the film festival. What kind of job does that entail? Um, it's hard. Yeah. Especially because you know we have to put together all the events, all the films. It's parties, films, and we have to get all everything together, everyone working together. So uh, tonight, obviously, there were some films that only just came in. Was that a bit scary? I mean, you're trying to organize shipment and everything? I know, it is a bit scary, but you know, that's the way this works sometimes. You know, there's so many films, 
from so many different countries, as Samuel was going was saying. Uh, some of them were in Europe yesterday, and now they're here. So it's just crazy. By the skin of your teeth. Yeah, but uh, it's all going well. So celebrating the fifth, what does that actually mean to a lot of the Mexican culture? Because this is about revolution. It's a it's a pretty big year for Mexico as well. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're celebrating the 200th anniversary of independence and revolution. So that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. And the fifth anniversary of the film festival. So we have lots of things to party. Yeah. So what does that mean for most Mexicans, the celebration of revolution? Uh, well, it's really important because it's when the country became independent from the Spanish. So it's actually when the country really got together and got to uh, become what it is now. So it's basically just saying, uh, yeah, we're not, we don't, we're not dependent on Spain anymore. We're, we're proud. Now. We're proud <laughs> of being Mexicans yeah. and now we're celebrating. Drinking a bit of um, soul beer, which is Mexican beer. How are you enjoying that? Yeah, it's great. Okay, goes down well after the opening night. What did, what did you think of the films? Um, yeah, no, there's a good range of films there. Um, Can you explain some of the endings to me? Because I some of them just finished and I went, I don't quite know what that was about. I think that's a bit like short film, though. Often you like moving on to the next one pretty quickly and it's kind of hard to... Like, there was one scene where the guy was, like, he had some brutal guy on his back that was injured and he stole a bike and that was that. Full on. Very what was that about? I know. Well, I guess it's all open to interpretation. <laughs> I don't okay. think you're supposed to admit that you don't know what happened. Oh, you're not? No, Are you supposed to be like a film buff and just act like it's I already cool? So I think you just go, hmm. You're yeah. discussing the films? We were, actually, yes. Okay, what were you coming up with? What was the conclusion? Some I got and some I didn't get. Yeah, yeah. I was the same. <laughs> like, I was sitting there going, what was that about? Yes, there were a couple like that. Um, Which but, ones did you get stuck on? Well, I think I lost concentration near the end. <laughs> and they're only short films. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. sort of bled into one to another and then some just finished. And I went, I didn't quite understand that. Like the priest and the two kids and all that. Yeah, I thought that was beautiful though. That was so amazing. Um, but they ended up in McDonald's and I went, okay, now what? I really like that. That was a good <laughs> twist. <laughs> no, it's good. It's very eclectic. And that's a good thing about short films. Because, you know, one, like the guy I was sitting next to, I said, oh, I love this film. And he said, oh, I hated it. And that's the best thing about short films and having them all together in that sort of eclectic way. They didn't all have endings though, they kind of just finished and I thought, what was well, that? One of them I didn't realise had finished and it was on to the next yeah, yeah, film. Yeah. But and I was like, hang on a minute, what are we supposed to do here? What do you do? Clap and then hope someone joins in. <laughs> and discuss about afterwards at a party and think, what was that about? What, about? what was that about? We'll, we'll figure it out. Well, enjoy. Thanks. Thanks.